Come on, Julian. Come on down. You hear your mom's coming to school today? Yes. Looking forward to it? Yes. Excellent. Me too. We're going to have a meeting. It's going to be a good one. And I want you to spell cob. Cob. We need to trade one letter. Cob. No. Cob. We need to take one away. Well, that's cool. Three sounds. Good job. C O B. Excellent. Did everyone else get that? Yeah. Good job. Julian, I see Mommy's here. Should we go say hi? Sure. Sandra, let's go say hi. Hi, Julian. Hi, Mommy. Hi, Sandria. How are you? Good. Good. I enjoyed watching you play on the playground. Hi, Miss Sandra. Good. I know she's your good friend, isn't she? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks, son. Okay, the bell rang. You two need to go in. Sandria, can you take Julian to the classroom? Good, thanks. Bye, Julian. Bye, Sandria. Thanks for coming today, Ludell. Yeah, I just thought I'd come. I'm in for the meeting, but I thought I'd just come and hang out before I go help in the classroom later. That'd be great. Yeah. Let's head in. Okay. Thanks. So, Mrs. Pigford, we're doing agendas and using this time to practice handwriting. Would you modify it for Julian, please? Sure, I'll print the words for him and he can copy them in his agenda. Great. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Mrs. Herms? Yes. Would you be willing to check the agendas and make sure they've got the message down? I sure will. Thanks. Thank you. <coughs> Our agenda today, number two, three, right number one. Hi, Kurt and Liddell. Nice of you to come in. Hi, Matthew. Good, Good to see you. you. It's nice to see you today, Kurt. We had uh, Ludell volunteer in our class. It was great. I always enjoy helping in the class as much as I can. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for meeting with us today. No problem. Unfortunately, Julian's teacher went homesick this afternoon, so she won't be joining us. But when she comes back to school, I'll talk to her, and I'm sure if she has any other questions, she'll give you a call. Now, I understand that you have some concerns regarding Julian in the classroom. Yeah, we just wanted to discuss Julian's future and um, <clears throat> maybe strategize ways that we can continue to build his independence and, and responsibility in his activities. Excellent. Do you mind if I take notes? Not at all. Thank Not you. At all. Uh, one of the things that, that we've noticed uh, is that Julian gets a lot of one-on-one -on -one time, and we think that's great uh, for his development. We would maybe like to see how we could incorporate a little more freedom in certain activities um, and certain applications. Okay. Are, is there a specific area that you were thinking of? Um, well, we were just thinking maybe in math, perhaps, um, to be able to use a calculator, and maybe that will allow him um, just that opportunity to check his own work on his own and not always to have those, uh, those extra eyes on him for every little problem? Mm -hmm. Sure, we'll give that a try and you're right, it'll hopefully keep them on track with the other kids. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, it sounds like that there might be some other opportunities as well in other core subjects as well as math. Mm -hmm. uh, why don't we come back together next week and talk about those things as well? Sure, mm -hmm. that'd be terrific. That would be great. Yeah, awesome. yeah. and another thing that we've noticed and, and uh, he gets a lot of supervision at playground and recess time and we're thinking maybe we can scale back that supervision to help him again build that independence uh, and work out some solutions on his own yes. during his playtime. He really likes physical activity but I've also noticed it myself so uh, maybe next week I'll try to step back a bit. It's kind of hard for me. I know exactly how you feel Diana. It's hard to to kind of learn when to when and how to let go and to give him that freedom. All right so is there anything other than those that you can think of? Oh, well, we just wanted to really thank you guys. You've done a tremendous job with Julian, and over the, we've seen so much growth in him over the last few years, and we really have loved every teacher, and so thank you very much. Oh, that's okay, Udell. We love Julian as well, and we're here for to make sure that he gets the best education that he can. Um, to recap, uh, just our meeting here, is you're, we're concerned with his independence as we're moving forward, we're about to switch grades. Mm -hmm. And specifically, you were talking about the use of a calculator in math to help him in problem solving. I think it's a great idea, um, and we can certainly do that. Um, and we're also going to come back next week and talk about other core subjects as we're planning for next year. And also about the supervision, let him get into his own little troubles and, and sort them out himself. Uh, but uh, we'll still have somebody else out there, but maybe not as close. Hmm. Sure, that sounds great. All right. 
Active listening is rooted in attitudes. Build positive working relationships. Support strong collaboration between the school and home. Create mutual respect and trust. Listen for feelings. Listen for meaning. Ask open-ended questions. Focus on the issues. Active listening to me is an important part of the programming for a child. There are a number of people who hold uh, different understandings about the child, and through active listening I get to hear about those understandings, and some of those might hold information that I'm not aware of, which could be important when we're programming for the child in the school. And it's through this process that I am able to bring this together so that the child benefits from everybody's combined knowledge.